In this video, I'm gonna show you how to kill apps that cause buffering. Let's get started. What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to kill what I call vampire apps from sucking your streaming speeds when you need them the most. Okay, to do this, we're gonna have to download an app called Background Apps and Process List. So let's get started. We're gonna scroll over here to the magnifying glass in the top left hand corner and type in background okay here it is here background apps and process list go ahead and select it let's go ahead and download it Let's open it. Select. Uh, let's not open it on boot. Go ahead and select. Got it. And now we can see which apps are currently running in the background that are stealing some of the processing speed, which will contribute towards buffering. Now, there is a manual way to do this, and I'll show you that after I walk you through this process. So let's go ahead and select one of the apps here and I'll walk you through it. We'll start with IP Vanish. Select it. And what it will do is it takes you to the settings. From here, now we can force stop the app, clear the cache, and even launch the app if we wanted to. But for this video, we just wanna focus on force stopping the app and clearing the cache. For stop, clear cache, press the back button. And as you can see, it's disappeared from the list here of the apps that are running in the background. And we'll go ahead and do Cody, select it. Select for stop, clear cache, press the back button. And we'll do the developer tools menu as well. Select it, for stop, clear the cache, press the back button. And as you can see here, we don't have any apps currently running in the background, which means when we open up a streaming app, we will have all the available resources to help the Fire TV Stick 4K stream at its highest level. Now this won't remove all buffering, but it will help drastically. I have had clients ask me about this for years now, I would only walk those clients through how to do it manually, which I'm about to show you here shortly. Before we found out about an app like this, we had to do it manually. So to get started by doing it manually, we're going to go ahead and press the home button. This takes us back to the Amazon home screen here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll over to settings. select applications, scroll down to manage installed applications, and this is how we come inside the settings and do it manually, by selecting the apps individually and force stopping them here. So let's go ahead and scroll down to, uh, let's start with Kodi, even though it's not running, but this is how you would do it. We're going to come down, select before stop, and clear the cache just like we did in the other part of the video. Let's press the home button once to take us back to the Amazon home screen. What's so cool about this app is now we can do it right here from the home screen instead of having to dig into the settings each time to go for stop the apps manually. We still have some manual work to do, but now we can do it from the Amazon home screen. Now I'm going to show you how to pin it to the Amazon home screen here by holding down the home button. Select apps. And now we're going to find the background apps and process list app and press the options, the menu button on your remote control and select pin to front. And now when we press the home button once, it'll be, let's see, sometimes it takes a while for it to shuffle in. See, now it's there. This is just your most recent app tray, right? Whatever you use most recent will show up there, but now this one is stuck here. 
So every time you launch the device, you know, you'll see the app here. And like I said before, instead of having to dig through the settings each time to force stop each app, we can do it right here from the home screen. Let's go ahead and launch it. And as you can see, we have nothing running in the background because we force stopped them all. I know this seems like a little thing guys, but this is a game changer. I'm going to show you how the different cores of the processors are activated with these apps running in the background and how they are sucking away the processing power that you need in order to do high definition streaming over a network. If you like what you see so far in this video, go ahead and like the video, go ahead and share it, and don't forget to subscribe. We will be back here within a few days with another video. See you soon.